Hey, hey, welcome to Live with Lynn. So if you're here, say hi. If you're watching the replay, be sure to type replay so I know you are here. I'm Lynn Huber. I appreciate you being here today. So today I'm going to talk about five things you must understand to have a no limits mindset. So, you know, I talk a lot about getting out of your comfort zone and growing your mindset. I really believe that it's having that no limits or that growth mindset is the most important thing that's going to determine your success or your failure in life. You know, you want 2020 to be totally different. I know I do. <laughs> so it's time to forget about doing things the same old way. It's time to get out of that comfort zone. And so now it's the time to push past the world of limitations and into the no limits mindset. Boom, we're going to be wide open, right? Wide open. So people who embrace those no limits, <clears throat> they live life to the fullest by pushing themselves to be the very best they can be in every area of their life. And it works in literally every area of your life. And, you know, is it your business where you want to grow? Maybe you want to do great things in your business or Maybe you want to build your business to the point where you can quit your day job or at least go part time in your day job. Um, maybe you have a great job that you love. You know, maybe you want to be promoted this year. Maybe you're gunning for a big promotion or maybe <laughs> maybe you just want the boss to actually see you. Right. Actually notice you um, and realize how much you do for them. Or maybe you want to be home with your kids. I mean, yes, that's a wonderful dream. If that's your dream, my kids are grown, so <laughs> I don't have any kids to be home with. But hey, you are the role model for your children, right? Your no limit mindset is going to be what your kids learn from you and what a valuable life lesson that it is to pass on. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about that no limits mindset. How does that work? Well, let's look at some things. I actually, I have five things that you must understand if you're going to have a no limits mindset. So the first one is people without limits rewrite the script. So it's all those so-called rules in your life that you have, they're meaningless. It's time to look past what you've already established a hundred times over and start thinking about changing the rules instead of towing the line one more time. It's the people who refuse to accept the status quo who genuinely understand what it means to have no limits. And I'm not talking about doing something illegal. I mean, we'll go into it more in detail. I'm talking about just, you know, we have ideas in our mind that we need to let them go. We have rules in our mind that aren't even real. We need to let them go. So, um, and that's just where I'm going. So people without limits realize where the limits come in the first place, right? Most of the time, the very things that limit us are our own thoughts. You know, we've already decided we can't do something. And then because, because of that, as a result of that, we can't. We can't do it because we already know we can't. Or, and so by taking away those limitations, we find that in the world of possibilities instead of impossibilities. So people without limits don't let anyone tell them who they are. So when you feel like you're limited, how many times is it because someone, what something else, something that someone else said? I keep getting these notes like someone's talking, but I'm not seeing it. So anyway, um, maybe you had a parent who once told you that you just weren't as athletic. And as a result, you never went out for sports, right? This might have happened when you were really young and yet, it still holds you back today. This kind of limitation is dangerous because often we don't even realize the origin of it and, and we don't even know where it came from. And you have to really start prodding into the origins and you have to really figure out where did this thought come from? Why do I believe this? And when you establish that it's from someone else and not you, tell that voice in your head to shut up. Tell your voice that it, you don't have time for that nonsense anymore. You're done with that. That's that's not true. That's something you heard when you your mom said when you were three years old, and she probably didn't mean it anyway that way, and you probably took it wrong. So now it's time for you to tell your voice to shut up. So people without limitations, people without limits, don't give up. Setbacks are normal. They're absolutely normal. We all have setbacks. It's what you do with them that matters. You know, learn from those those people that don't have limits. Right? Accept the failure. Mourn it if you need to, <coughs> excuse me, and then dissect the living daylights out of it to see what it is you can learn from it, what it is that it's going to help you move forward better, right? And then congratulate yourself for having tried, and then dig in and try again, this time applying the lessons that you've learned. There's no room for quitters. 
if you have a, an, an unlimited mindset, if if um, you have that no limit mindset, there's no room for quitters. What is it? It's baseball. There's no crying in baseball. That just that just came into my head. But yeah, there's no room for quitters. If you have a no limit mindset, you don't quit. Right. So if you've been following me for a while, you probably know that I get these notes from the universe. I actually love them. And I got one about a month ago and I thought it was so profound. I put it on the bulletin board above my desk. It says persistence, Lynn, is about knocking on one is. Well, let me start over. Persistence, Lynn, is not about knocking on one door until the dang thing opens. It's about knocking on all the doors. Insist on the destination, Lynn, not how you'll get there. So isn't that cool? I love that. It's not about knocking on one door until it opens. That's not persistence. Persistence isn't forcing something that isn't meant to be. It's about knocking on all the doors. And so that's just it. Insist on the destination. How we get there might have to change. We might have to change our course. We might have to do something different. So it's not about not giving up a certain way of doing it. It's about not giving up as you're reaching for your goals, right? Isn't that cool? I love it. I love it. So people without limits know how to face their fears. So you're never going to get anywhere if you let fear stop you, right? Understanding where your fear comes from and then doing the work to overcome the fear, that's what's going to free you up to move forward and accomplish what you need to do. Living a life of no limits doesn't mean that you've solved everything and that you've never felt limited in any way. It means that you know what to do when you feel that pushback, when you feel that, you know, something's holding you back. You know what to do to get around it or push it out of the way so that you can continue to reach for your goal. So tell yourself you're bigger and better than any of the things that hold you back. Don't let anything or anyone stop you, including yourself. And don't give up. You'll be amazed at what you can accomplish. That's the biggest thing. Don't let anyone stop you and don't give up. You seriously can have anything you want in 2020, and I think we should go for it. <coughs> Sorry, this stupid cold. Anyway, so now I'd love to hear from you. What kinds of things help you overcome obstacles or make sure that your mindset is open and growing? Please share with us below. I would love to hear from you. Anyway, that's all I have. Um, thanks for being here with me today. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.